Hey, what's up guys? Going to do one today about the Regroove uh, found in Reason. Uh, it's basically their quantizing engine. Uh, you could do some pretty cool stuff with it. Let's take a look at the session and I'll show you one of the uh, quickest and best applications, at least the ones that I use. All right, so uh, here's a simple redrum beat. What do I have here? I have a kick, I have uh, some snares and hats. And of course, Anytime you sequence a beat and redrum or you just draw it right on the grid, usually it sounds pretty generic. It sounds like 1980s drums, you know, all stiff. So let's listen. Right, everything's hitting at the, at the same intensity, not very good. So this is where the redrum comes in handy. If you click on this button on the lower right hand side, the regroove mixer shows up, right? And I already have a preset loaded. Now, if you want to try out some different swings and grooves, you basically go to Reason Factory Sound Bank, you go to regroove, and here they have all sorts of uh, templates for you. So anyway, but I had already, I, I chose Crack, which was in the hip hop uh, folder. Now, I didn't use re, uh, Regroove for a long time, and the reason I didn't use it is because, as you'll see in a second, uh, the the intensity it applies these swings at uh, just almost to me it seems like it's almost unusable. So, by the way, the way you activate the swing is you have to enable it, and you have to make sure you're routed to the right to your right preset. In this case, I am routed to the right preset. So once I enable it, I'll have my swing. Now, you remember, it was pretty stiff before, right? Now, watch what happens with the crack swing uh, quantize applied to it. Here's without it. So you see what's happening, It's the swing is so intense, it's so extreme, that the beat almost starts to drag. Um, so I didn't use it for the longest time because I just couldn't figure out for the life of me why all these presets that I had just completely whacked out the beat to, to such an uh, intensity. I even tried to mess with this fader, and it still wasn't quite right, it was still pretty intense. But recently, what, what I've started doing, and it's been working beautifully, is you take the fader all the way down, okay? and you basically start working it up and you work it up to a point where you start hearing the blending of your tight mechanical beat and the swing and there's this fine line to where you realize that if you go one notch higher on that fader the beat starts to loosen up too much All right. so now what I do is I go to that I find that point and as soon as I hear a place where I think it's too loose I tuck it back a little bit and it's really nice. So let's try that right now. Okay, now right there, I think the volume on my snares is starting to dip to a point where I, I'm uncomfortable with it. So I'm going to tuck it back a little bit and listen again. You could still hear that it's a little intense, so I know I've gone too far. Let me try it at 30 percent. I might even want to go down to 25. You see how little you actually need? You know, I could probably live with that, but I'm even thinking 20% because I, I still, it's still a bit too much for me. Okay, now 20% I'm good with, right? Now, just so you hear the difference between what we had and what we have now, just with a 20% a on, this, on this swing preset, I'm going to disable it and play it straight. and with the swing. Okay, I hope uh, I hope you see the value in that. Um, give it a shot yourself, try it out. You've got about, uh, between all the folders in there, you've got, I don't know, I would say close to 100 plus uh, presets of different swings you could try. Uh, give it a shot, let me know what you think. Catch you guys later, peace.